So this is material library number three. There we go, three for me. So this is substance designer paint, whatever. The substance material collection can now be brought into Blender. So let's go ahead and discuss this. So um, let me just crack open this window. So this is kind of like where you can download it. So this is an official Adobe thing. Settle down, Adobe's not taking over Blender. That's another story, but it's fine. Ton's got it under control. Adobe's not touching anything. They're just coming in for the love. You know what I mean? Isn't that right, Frank? So from here, I'll put this link in the description. What you need to do is you need to download the add-on, which is down here, and also the Substance 3D integration tool. So let's talk about how to actually go about installing it. So here I've got a project file um, already you know, it's got pretty good materials. So these materials are both from Extreme PBR Combo. So if I press N, um, Extreme PBR Combo, so there's a massive library of materials and also the materials from a Material Q thing. So here there's a whole bunch of more materials that I have. So that's why I'm talking about this is library number three. Um, it'd be good if I could have this material list kind of come up in Blender, but it doesn't work, but we'll go through that in a sec. Um, if you want to have a look at those two add-ons, I've got a link in the description. So to install the add-ons, I've downloaded those two files. We go edit preferences, uh, install. Let's go into downloads. So the first one we install is the substance in Blender 3D 11.8, whatever. So let's install that add-on and here it goes. It appears here. So we enable it. And then from here we go install from disk. And now we find that other file that we downloaded. So the integration tools and now install tools. Wham bam, thank you, ma'am. I'm just gonna go automatically attach materials to selected object. Actually, no, I don't want that. We can. So what that means is when the when you download the material, it will automatically just apply straight to our object. Um, I'm not gonna enable that one. I'm actually gonna disable that for now. Let's close it. And over here, we should have our substance um, tab, which we can click on that. Let me just quickly move that screen over. And here we've got the options. We can click on this and it'll open up our, oh, geez, that's bright. It'll open up the material library. Now, just remember, you might have to log in here. It's for this part, it's for free. But if we jump over into the 3D asset stuff, it looks like there's a subscription. So screw you. So let's go back to our material library. Now, the first thing you need to do is not all the, not all materials are available. You actually need to sort by materials. You can't use smart materials or the app atlas whatever that is you need to just look at materials because we need to download the sansabar um files so if we come down to here let's go let's find ooh, clouds oh tune clouds leather stitch i'm just going to find let's go metal let's find a nice metal that we're going to apply i want metal substance 001 so let's download that one please don't be big that's pretty small that's fine now we jump over into Blender. From here, we click the download file. We go to where we've downloaded it, which is here. And then we can open up. And now we've got control over stuff that we can do. So I am just going to select probably the biggest object, which is the here. And at the moment, this is my hard surface, blah, blah, blah. We are going to change it to, what the heck did I just download? So, okay, so we actually have to click on attach. And then once we've attached it, then it'll come up. Now you can see, I'm just gonna hide the other part. Let's go H. You can see that this hasn't been UV unwrapped properly. So I'm just gonna press tab. Let's go U, smart UV project. I don't really care. There we go. And you can see that the quality is kind of cruddish, but what we can do is come over here into our um, resolution and we can bump that up to 1024. And you can see that that's now improved dramatically. Now we do have a lot of settings where we can change, you know, scuffs and all that. Each material is different. So just be wary of that. So for instance, if I come back, let's go download and I'll open up the stone wall one and let's apply it to this. You can see that's what it looks like, 1024. So the material is quite nice. We can change the tiling of this one. So you can see that the parameters are all different. And so we can make it a little bit thicker. And obviously you can see that we've got that slot in there. So this is kind of where you can go back into shading and we can do some playing around. These boxes here are from the node preview add-on and they're obviously not gonna be working because they're using a lot of jazz. 
Um, so if we expand this, we can see our materials. We can obviously change our single image. Nope, sorry. From flat to box. Yep. And then we can change the blend type to, you know, 0.2. And then hopefully everything will kind of blend together. Will it though? No, it won't. I am full of lies because of the fact we're using UV and not generated. So if we pop up, we can see that we're using the UV maps. Um, obviously, if I go back into this, we'll change our material back to our metal substance. We can see that it's very big. Um, we can just come into the shading and change our mapping and we'll just go like four, four, four. And there we go. So we've kind of increased the resolution, increased the size of the texture. But anyway, that's just a really quick overview of the new substance add-on. Material library number three. I am lazy, so that's why this is going to be really good. Um, if you like this video, please make sure you subscribe, you know, leave a comment. Let me know. Do you want me to keep finding these little technology things?